Excessive heating in the headstock is a common problem reported by ShopSmith users in the various Facebook groups and user forums. What these users are reporting is that after only two minutes of running the machine, the upper auxiliary drive gets so hot you can't even touch it. I also had that problem when I first bought this machine about seven years ago. To address the excessive heating issue in the first two minutes, about four or five years ago I completely rebuilt the headstock. In fact, I replaced every bearing in the headstock except for the bearings in the motor. Here are some of the parts that I took off and kept as backups just in case I needed them. Not all these parts are bad, but I figured while I had the headstock apart, I may as well put in new parts that could become a problem in the future. After all, according to the serial number, my headstock was built in 1991. That's over 30 years ago. My assumption at the time is that all the parts in the headstock were 30 years old. However, this idler shaft is an indication that someone had rebuilt the headstock previously because this is the incorrect idler shaft for my headstock. This in fact is the older style idler shaft but some users in the ShopSmith community feel that this bearing is superior to the new bearing that ShopSmith began installing in the headstocks about 30 plus years ago. So some rebuilders go out and source the older style bearing to put in the newer headstocks. I went ahead and kept the belts because actually they're in pretty good shape. I did go ahead and replace the control sheave. The button bearing is a common problem with the ShopSmith. And since my headstock was almost 30 years old at the time, I figured, hey, uh, a new bearing there couldn't hurt. There's nothing wrong with this bearing. It works perfectly fine. It's quite smooth. And now I have a backup just in case. I'm pretty sure the headstock rebuild solved the short-term heating problem but I'll go ahead and test it now with this infrared thermometer. Each time I took a temperature measurement, I took a reading at the top right and top left of the headstock, the upper drive, the mid drive, the left pan, and right pan. As the chart for the two minute heat test shows, I don't really have a heating problem within that two minute time frame. With an ambient temperature of around 70 degrees and a starting temperature in the mid 60s, after two minutes of running at speed R, I saw a moderate increase, and with an additional two minutes running at speed W, there were some additional increases, but really not that much. So it appears that I did solve the problem for the excessive heating issue within the first two minutes. After my headstock rebuild, everything ran a lot cooler, but it does still heat up over time. How much does it heat up? Well, that's what the long duration test was supposed to show. I have here 12 sample pieces made out of old roofing sheeting. It's probably southern yellow pine. They're about 305 by 305 millimeters square, which is approximately 12 inches square. And I cut four dados and four rabbits in each sample. That amounts to approximately 29,288 linear millimeters, or 1,152 inches, or 96 feet. And since the test ran about 44 minutes, I was cutting about 2.18 feet per minute including some small breaks to adjust the table. Looking at the long duration heat test line chart, you can still see that the ambient temperature was 70 degrees and the temperature of the headstock started out approximately in the mid 60s. In the first 15 minutes of operation, the temperature rose quite quickly to the upper 90s on average. In the second 15 minute block, the temperature rose much slowly and in the third and final block, the temperature increase was almost level. After completing the operations and shutting down the machine, I took two additional measurements 10 minutes apart and the line graph shows that the headstock began returning to normal temperatures pretty rapidly. Quite honestly, I'm not sure if that's normal, good or bad or indifferent. I'd like to hear your comments about how your headstock operates and what do you think of mine? Is it pretty much normal? Well, that does it for this Woodshop Nerdery video. I hope to see you in the next one.